300 Southwest flights canceled today and now less than 50 are asked for tomorrow. The airline says they're getting back on track after massive delays and cancellations during the Christmas travel period. Six News Brent Weber spoke with Omahans who made it back to the Metro. The last Southwest flight of the day came in actually a few minutes early. And those we spoke to on what has been a nightmarish week of flight travel seem to have good humor about their experience. It was touch and go going to D.C., but coming back, once I got to Chicago, I was afraid I was going to get stranded because the flight before me and the flight after my flight were canceled, but my flight came. When I was in D.C. and walked in, there was luggage all over the place from people that, you know, it never made it with their luggage. Flew on United, thankfully. <laughs> Smooth sailing. I was delayed a little in Denver, but it was nothing. I was not normally. I fly southwest, but not this time. What about the future? Will that have any effect on you? Probably not. Does everything that's happened, um, will it change your... No. Southwest is my go-to airline. It's usually cheaper, two bags free. It's okay. I, I like it. Well, I left here on Wednesday of last week at 2.30 uh, in the afternoon on southwest. I uh, flew to uh, Denver. Got in Denver a little over two hours, and we had to circle for about three hours before we could find a spot to even land. And then we landed, and we were on, a, on the side of the deck, I guess I should say, for another two and a half hours. And then we got closer to the terminal, and we had to wait about five hours to get into the terminal. And by the time I got to my daughter's house, it was 3.30 in the morning. How was your flight back? Excellent. I took United and that was it. You can see the bags from the disrupted travel here at the airport baggage claim, but other airports, it's much worse. And in fact, I was just told that they are catching up. That's good news if you're flying in or out of the airport in Omaha. On your side at Epley, Brent Weber, 6 News.